Hi, I'm Don Brown. We're going to explain how to do a live broadcast on Justin TV. And the first thing, of course, you need is some sort of a webcam, and you can get a choose a very inexpensive one. This one's probably under twenty-five dollars. Just a very simple made in China camera. It takes a couple of batteries, and you hook it up to a little tripod. You hook it up to a little cable that goes into your USB port and you're all set to go. So this is a very inexpensive one. And then the next uh, one up is probably the one that's uh, the most high quality webcam out there today. It's called a Logitech Pro 9000. And the advantage of this is it's a high quality, it's got a quality lens that's actually glass instead of plastic that most of the lenses are made out of. And the software allows it to adjust the frame rate. So if you're in a low light situation, it'll slow down the frame rate so that you can actually uh, see things in very, very low light. Now the disadvantage is it will be blurry, so there's always trade-offs. But this is the one I use, a Logitech Pro 9000, and very good camera and some nice software along with it. So once you get, you've chosen your camera, the next thing to do is uh, read the instructions uh, because it'll tell you the order that you need to do things. Sometimes you need to install the plug the camera into a USB port first and sometimes they want you to install the software first. So read the directions and see what they want you to do as recommended by the manufacturer. And then most always you'll have to reboot the computer and what that does is that then sets the camera settings automatically into your computer so that whenever you're using a broadcasting service like Justin TV it will automatically recognize your camera and its settings and you don't have to do anything except hit a button that says broadcast. So in fact if you ever have trouble in the future with your cameras things seem to be crashing or not working just reboot your computer and normally that will take care of any of the any of the problems that you're encountering. Alright, so now the next thing, after you've got your software installed, your cameras hooked up, and you rebooted your computer, go to uh, JTV, Justin.TV, and go to your, your page, your profile page, your home page, or the main uh, Justin TV page if you have not already set up your own screen name and passwords and all that stuff. I've gone now to uh, my profile page. We'll take a look at that. <coughs> and just about every uh, page you go to on Justin TV will have the red broadcast button that will allow you to start broadcasting. So here I'm on my profile page. I'll scroll over to the right hand side and we'll scroll up to the top and there's the red broadcast button right up the um, top in red. And so as all you do is hit hit your broadcast button and that will bring up another screen. And the screen that's brought up is a little smaller size screen and it allows you to set your settings for your camera to custom set it. Now normally you don't have to do anything because your camera will already show up in this box and your microphone will show up automatically and then all you have to do is hit the start broadcast button down there at the lower left hand side and you'll be broadcasting without any problems. Now depending on which broadcast methods you're using there's a video quality up at the left hand side where you can choose either a good or a best quality. If you're going to pick the best quality it'll have you download a plug-in. So you'll have to uh, download that plug-in to use that. But that's the only extra thing you have to do. And then later on you might want to choose to play around with the custom settings so you can set the speed of the frame rate that you're broadcasting in, the bit rate, and you can fool around with different cameras and different microphones. But everything at the beginning is just very simple. You just hit start broadcast and you're you're gone. So that's all you need to do. All right, so now uh, the next thing that you can you can adjust, and you don't have to really do anything, is everything is pretty automatic, especially if you've got a fairly decent quality camera. The software will allow it to automatically set up all of your settings. Now I'm using the Logitech uh, camera, and it has what's called 
uh, Logitech QuickCam is their software. Now, the way this works is you can click on your uh, menu to, to pull up the QuickCam software, and I'll show you how what that looks like here. So I pulled that up, and then you hit the uh, one of the little buttons here. I'm going to push the little um, gears here, and that brings out a screen which gives you some options. Now once again, generally you don't even have to bother with this because uh, everything's set automatically. So uh, on this particular software, it's got the option of doing automatic focus or manual focus. I just use manual focus because it sits the, sets the camera at infinity so everything's in focus unless you get like an inch away. And then it's got face tracking, that's set off, and then it's got some brightness contract contrast, color intensity, and so forth. Now all this stuff is, and then there's an auto button which is always on by default. So you don't have to do anything at all. Everything will work perfectly well. Now if I switch over to the microphone button, it shows me some settings for the microphone. And pretty much it's you know set automatically, but you can fool with it and adjust your recording gain up or down on that. And then on this particular software, Logitech has what they call a right light setting, which is a proprietary software where they increase the ability to capture good uh, video in low light situations. And it's by default already on. Now I turn mine off and the reason I do that is because if you are in a low light situation, what it does is it slows down the frame rate on your camera and starts blurring things. So if you start moving around, it'll show a blur. Now the, the picture will look great. You know, the lighting will be almost perfect, even like candlelight or the, the light of your laptop uh, screen will actually give you enough light, but it will blur. So I just turn that off. But uh, you can do whatever you f think is good for your purposes. So anyway, that's about the only other settings that you might want to fool around with. This particular software also gives you the ability to, to do like little fancy uh, effects that, that you can put on here. A lot of these are fairly goofy. You probably, you know, you can play around with them, but most people are probably not going to enjoy seeing these because they are a little lame, especially if you have to see them for more than about a minute. But uh, there, are, there is the ability to do some of these effects in this particular software. So basically, that's all you got to know to uh, to get going on starting to broadcast live video over JTV. It's very simple. Just go to justin.tv, click on the start broadcast button, assuming your camera and, and software is installed and you rebooted your computer and you're all set to go. Another thing to think about though is choose what you want to do on your broadcast. A lot of people don't give it much thought and so they think, well, oh, cool, I'm broadcasting live, now thousands of people are going to see me. Well, probably not. Uh, the main thing is to think of something you like to do. You know, whatever you're interested in, do some shows about that interest, and chances are there's going to be a lot of other people who are interested in the same thing. But uh, don't expect to see thousands of people show up. Uh, you probably, you're probably lucky if you get a couple people show up. But you'll have fun. You'll meet a lot of people, and that's probably the main thing that you'll enjoy. Is you'll absolutely meet people all over the world who will come to uh, to watch you broadcast live and then chat with you and interact with you on your chat room. So have fun and good luck on your broadcasting.